What's up guys welcome back to yet another video finally OnePlus started rolling out a new update for OnePlus 7 series and as we all know OnePlus doesn't provide any more beta updates for OnePlus 7 series so today we have an another stable update which is Oxygen OS 11.0.2.1 OnePlus almost took close to 2 months to roll out a next stable update for OnePlus 7 series so here you can see I have my OnePlus 7 Pro and the update is rolling out in batches so it might take some time to receive it on your device but I'll try to provide the download links in the description below. Just download the file and place it inside the internal storage of your device. Avoid placing it inside any of the folders. Once you do that, head to system, system update and tap on this gear icon towards the right top corner, select local upgrade and you'll be able to see the file. So these are the software information, Android version is Android 11 and the security patch what we get here on this latest build is of 1st June 2021. OnePlus 6 series have already got the July security patch and on OnePlus 7 series they have updated the security patch to June. So here great job done by OnePlus. And build number you can see Oxygen OS 11.0.2.1. Before moving ahead with the change logs, these are the benchmark results. On this latest build, single core have scored 722 and multi core have scored 2375. And there's not much of difference in the benchmark results if you compare it with the previous build. With Antutu benchmark application, device have scored 5,29,300. On the previous update, scores were 5,23,270. So slightly higher benchmark results to be seen with Antutu benchmark application. Now talking about the change logs, here we have a list of change logs which are related to system, file manager, camera and phone application. If you are already running stable channel on your OnePlus 7 series, the update size would be in between 150 MB to 200. On the previous update, users had lots of complaints regarding the battery backup. But I think OnePlus have taken care of that. And here with the first change log under system OnePlus says, they have reduced the power consumption. So we'll get to know after using the device for a day or two. I'll update you guys about the battery backup in a complete review video. So make sure to drop down all the issues what you guys have been facing. Also one of the major issue was with Widevine security level. But in my case, I never faced any kind of issues related to Widevine security level. For me, it was always L1. And the same certification level is on this latest update. So if a device Widevine security level is still on L3, then let me know in the comment section below. We'll try some alternative to fix the security level on OnePlus 7 series. Other change logs under system. Now they have also improved the overheating of the device. So let's see. I'll try to do some gaming and we'll see how much device heats up. But for things like battery backup and overheating, we need to at least use the device for a day or two. At last under system, they have also fixed the issue of videos not being played in high resolution or high definition on some platforms. I think here they are relating to Widevine security level and hopefully all OnePlus 7 users have got the security level of L1. Next change log is related to file manager. Here they have fixed some crashing issues. I personally never faced any kind of issues with file manager on my OnePlus 7 series, so I can't say much about it. Another issue what users were facing was related to camera in which images used to get blurred while clicking pictures in full screen mode. They have done the fix to that also. Camera version is now 6.4.66 and now I don't see any kind of issues with the pictures getting blurred while clicking in full screen mode. Though I personally did not notice any kind of major improvements in the picture quality. Here are a few samples clicked after upgrading the device. And talking about the last change log which is related to phone app. So here there was an issue with the previous update. If you're using the device resolution in Quad HD Plus, the dial pad was pretty small. And these are some screenshots which I captured on the previous update. And this has also been fixed by OnePlus. As you can see here, my device resolution is Quad HD Plus and the dial pad is back to normal. Same goes with the calling screen. So huge thanks to OnePlus for fixing such issues. So guys, this was a quick look on the latest build for OnePlus 7 series. If you still have any kind of questions, let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.